Hello friends, my name is Nadeem and today in this video we will be discussing about what is the rolling margin of steel bar and how to calculate rolling margin. Before that, if you like the videos I make, please do like, comment and share and don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest video updates. What is rolling margin of steel? The allowable margin in the percentage deviation of the actual unit weight of a steel bar from its standard or theoretical unit weight is called the rolling margin of steel. Or, in other words, the percentage difference in the theoretical and the actual weight of the steel bar per meter length should be within the permissible limit as per IS 1786-2008. The allowable margin for the steel bar to maintain the sectional diameter so that the weight of the manufactured steel should be within a specified percentage in comparison to the standard weight is called as rolling margin of steel. What is the meaning of rolling of steel? While manufacturing the steel metal, they are passed through a pair of rolls to impart a required dimension and a specified property to the metal. This production process of steel material is called as rolling of steel. Why it is necessary to calculate the rolling margin of steel? When we procure the steel bar for the construction work, the weight of the bar received on site always differs from the theoretical weight. The standard weight of the steel bar is calculated based on the theoretical density and the diameter of the specified bar, but in the practical world, it is difficult to maintain the exact bar diameter and density during the manufacturing process of steel bars. The bars so produced may be underweight, standard weight or may be overweight. Now let us understand how we can calculate weight of a bar. The formula to calculate the weight of a steel bar is pi by 4 into d square into 7850 which is the density of steel into L which is the length of the bar. Now consider we have ordered 12 mm bar so we will see few possibilities of weight differences. First is for the bar having length 1 meter and dia of steel is 11.7 mm. When we solve this, we get the weight as 0.8 for kilogram. Second is for the bar having length 1 meter and dia of steel as 12 mm, which is actually the standard weight. And when we will solve this, we will get weight as 0.89 kilogram. Third is for the bar having length 1 meter and dia of steel as 12.3 mm. When we solve this, we get weight as 0.93 kg. Looking at the above three examples, we can easily say that the third option is overweight. Since the procurement of the construction steel is always based on weight, the length of the overweight bars will differ from the theoretical length and ultimately we will fall short of the required bar length. This bar shortage cumulatively affects the calculated project cost, making us spend more to procure the extra steel bar to complete the construction of project. Similarly, if the purchased steel bars falls in the underweight category, that will affect the design strength stability of the building, the sectional percentage of the underweight steel bars used in the construction project will be lesser than the design requirements, which may break the safety standards. So in order to curb such mistakes, it becomes necessary to calculate the rolling margin of steel. What is the allowable rolling margin of steel as per IS code? IS 1786-2008 has set a standard to calculate the rolling margin of steel in percentage to maintain the safety of building to complete the construction work in a given time and to limit the loss in the calculated project cost. Allowable deviation in weight of the reinforcement bars of different diameters as per IS 1786 are as follows. For 8 mm to 10 mm dia of bar, permissible deviation is plus or minus 7%. And for 12 mm to 16 mm diameter of power, permissible deviation is plus or minus 5%. And for 20 mm and above dia of power, permissible deviation is plus or minus 3%. Come on now, let's see an example how we can calculate rolling margin. Here you can see a table where you can see diameter of steel bar, weight per running meter of sample 1 in kilogram, weight per running meter of sample 2, weight per running meter of sample 3. Then average weight per running meter in kilogram standard weight per running meter in kilogram and in the last section you can see the formula for rolling margin the formula states average weight per running meter minus standard weight per running meter divided by standard weight per running meter then the whole equation will be multiplied by 100 to get the answer in percentage in diameter of steel we have considered 8 mm 12 mm and 60 mm diameter of bar Suppose after taking 3 samples of 1 meter for each of the diameter such that 8 mm 3 samples are taken for 12 mm 3 samples are taken and for 16 mm 3 samples are taken. For 8 mm sample suppose we got 0.39 kg, 0.4 kg and 0.415 kg weight per meter length. 
For this, we will calculate the average length is 0.404 kilogram per meter. For 8 mm sample, standard weight per meter is 0.395 kg per meter. We can calculate the standard weight using the formula d square by 162. I have already explained this before, you can go and check it. Hence, putting this value in the above equation, we get 0.404 minus 0.395 divided by 0.395. And this whole multiplied by 100, we get the answer is 2.3 percent. Here we will check whether the rolling margin derived falls in the acceptable range or not. We have got 2.3, hence we can say that the steel is in acceptable range, hence accepted. Similarly, we can find other diameters rolling margin and check whether it falls under acceptable range or not. I hope you found this video useful. If you like the video, then please like, comment and share and don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest video updates. Thank you for watching.